Hi viewers, this is Dr. Gunamani Jana and you are watching video with me on nature inspired computing techniques. In this video, we will be specifically covering the BAT algorithm which is also part of the swarm intelligence. Uh, in the outline, first we will see what is the BAT algorithm, what are the main idea, what is the echolocation of microbats, the characteristics of microbats, the basic steps of this BAT algorithm, various applications and also some references. Coming to the main idea of this BAT algorithm, BAT algorithm is a biological inspired algorithm developed by Yang in 2010. It uses frequency tuning techniques to increase the diversity of this solution in the population. So, we are having uh, two things, one is the exploration and exploitation. So, this BAT algorithm uses the automatic zooming to try to balance between this exploration and exploitation during the search process by mimicking the various uh, the variations of pulse emissions rates as well as the loudness of the bats when searching for the prey. And as you know that bats usually uh, they are dark in the daytime and they search the prey in the night time and they cannot use light that means the radar, radar technique they cannot use it there. So, rather they use the sonar that means the sound wave will be propagating and when it is reflected back from that they will be able to identify the prey. Right. Now, you will be astonished to know that there are about 1000 different species of bats and some of the bats may uh, there is a wide ranging from 2 grams like we call it the tiny bumblebee to the giant bats up to 2 kg or 1 kg with a wingspan of about 2 meter. Okay. Uh, so, this is the range and the micro bats use this eco locations extensively. Uh, to a certain degree while the mega bats they do not use it. Now, we focus on this echolocation of the micro bats. The micro bats specially are uh, typically use a type of sonar called the echolocation to detect prey and also avoid the obstacles. It is not only because they cannot see in the night while they are going uh, they may dash with somebody there may be accident. Uh, they have the technique to avoid the obstacles and locate their roosting crevices in the dark. So, they usually emit a very loud sound pulse and listen for the echo that bounces back from the surrounding objects. That is the technique in our bat algorithm. Their pulses vary in properties and can be correlated with their hunting strategies. This is depending on the species, different species they are having the different strategy. And this all bats use, I am talking about the micro bats, use the echolocations to sense the distance and they also know the difference between food, prey and the background. So, food and prey means the food and the background because the reflection of the sound it comes from the background as well as from the, from the prey. So, while it is coming back, I do not think there will be any difference in the um, what is the uh, echo, but still they have the technique to know what is the sound uh, back from this food prey or the background. Okay? So, they do it in a very magical way. The bats fly randomly with velocity v i, i 1 to n and with position x i with a frequency f minimum to f maximum and we have a varying wavelength here because when there is a difference of frequency f minimum to f maximum this we call the wavelength and the loudness a 0 to search the prey. They can automatically adjust the wavelength of their emitted pulses and also they can adjust the rate of pulse emission. Uh, this is pulse rate is represented as r small r which is equal to or belongs to 0 and 1 in this vector depending on a on the proximity of their target. So, more closer. So, they adjust accordingly. Now, we have a uh, glance at this bad algorithm. So, you see the point number 1 algorithm step number 1. Here, we set the initial value of this uh, minimum frequency is f minimum, the maximum frequency as the f maximum, population size initialized as n, 
and the loudness constant is alpha the rate of pulse emission is gamma and the initial loudness is a0 and the minimum loudness is a minimum and the initial rate of pulse emission is r0 uh, like that the maximum number of iteration that is uh, maximum itr uh, these are the parameters initialization so have done then immediately you go for the counter initialization initially the counter t the iteration t is set to 0 and for i is equal to 1 and i less than n i plus plus we generate the initial bat population that is xi of t randomly then we generate the bat velocity that is vi of t these are all randomly we assign the initial velocity fi sorry initial frequency fi uh, to the uh, bat uh, location xi t and evaluate the initial populations by calculating the objective function that means i try to find out what is f of xi t for each solution in the application that means when it is x1 it is fx1 of t when it is x2 fx2 of t like that like that we set the initial values of the pulse rate that is ri and the loudness that is ai so these are all the population initialization is done then as you started the for here we end for uh, all the things we repeated so then it is incremented t is equal to t plus 1 so here we generate a new bat solutions xit by adjusting frequencies because uh, the frequencies and the locations the velocity all are varying as shown in equation 8 and update the bat velocity is vi that is also represented in equation number 6 and 7 then evaluate the new populations by calculating the objective function f of xi so these things are done in our algorithm automatically do then you select the best solution x star from the populations and here if rand is greater than ri uh, then and the random the random value whatever you are taking then select a solution among the best solutions generate a local search solution around the selected best solutions so this f and if here then we generate a random new solutions if random ai and f of xi less than f of x star then accept the new solutions uh, increase the rate of pulse emission ri and also the uh, reduce the loudness a0 and if here so evaluate the new populations by calculating the objective function f of xi t then for each solutions in the population rank the population and find the x star until t is less than maximum itr so this is the termination criteria until satisfied it is run then it produces the best solution now coming to the detail of explanation you have seen line 1 on 2 of the algorithm this is just we set the initial value of the parameters <coughs> then step number 2 uh, this is here the initial population is generated randomly by generating the initial population of x0 and the initial velocity v0 for each bat in the population and the initial frequency fi is assigned to each solution in the population so these are all the things initialization there then the initial population is evaluated by calculating the objective function that is f of xi so it can be 0 1 whatever things are there and the, uh, and the values of their pulse rate ri is also calculated and loudness ai is all these are initialized that is represented in the algorithm line number 3 to 9 then new population is generated using the equation xi uh the, the the position is xi as well as the velocity is vi so that is represented in the equation 6 and 7 of line number 12 and 13 okay these are things there then fi the range f minimum plus f maximum minus f minimum into beta then vt is equal to vt the previous one vt vit vit is equal to vit minus 1 plus xit minus 1 of x star multiplied by fi and this x t, xi of t which is equal to xi of t minus 1 plus this vt whatever calculating so that means we can calculate the new xt using the old one plus adding the vi of t okay this is a random vector this beta is a random vector drawn from this uniform distribution fine then in the step number 4 the new population is evaluated by calculating the objective function f of xi uh, and the best solution uh, uh, g of x that is also calculated then step number 5 the local search method is applied in order to refine the best found solutions at is that is represented in the equation that, that is the line number 16 to 19 then step 6 the new solution is generated randomly and accepted with some proximity 
depending on parameter AI and the rate of pulse emissions. That is the rate of pulse emission increases and the loudness decreases. Now the value of AI and RI are updated until the uh, using the equation how I do all the things AI of t plus 1 which is equal to alpha into AI of t. Similarly, RI of t is equal to RI of 0 plus 1 minus e to the power minus gamma epsilon. So, this alpha and gamma they are the constants. Alpha this parameter plays a similar role on the cooling factor in the simulated annealing what you have already done in the search there. Then the new population is evaluated and the best solution is selected from these populations. And the operations are repeated until the termination criteria is satisfied and the overall solution is uh, produced. So, this can be implemented using uh, Python, it can be implemented using Java, so I see yours, we can do it. Then we see some of the applications of this bad algorithm. Uh, we see the continuous optimization, for the continuous optimizations we use the bad algorithm. For combinatorial optimizations and scheduling also we use this one. Then inverse problems and parameter estimation classifications, clustering and data mining we also use this bad algorithm. For image processing various applications also use this bad algorithm. Other things the soft computing like the fuzzy logic and the other applications also use all things. So, these are the some of the references. I hope uh, all of you got the minimum stuff and if you like this video please do share with your friends and also do not forget to subscribe. So, please take care of your health. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Have a good day.